country. We're working to get you all the information we can about them. We'll start in the east end. That's where a storm tore through the Brownsboro area and up into Springhurst. The tennis club there was hit hard by the storm. Way 3, Scott Atkins is live with the cleanup there. Scott? And a good morning to you, Gene. We're getting a good look at what that EF1 twister left behind yesterday. You can see over here trees toppled down, sheet metal, big pieces just scattered throughout the entire lawn. It looks like a lot of debris was scattered for really hundreds of yards, but you got to check out the side of the building. I'm going to walk over here with you. Look at that gaping hole in the side of the tennis club at Springhurst. A once indoor tennis club, now the wall just completely taken down. We're told that an EF1 twister did come through here and it tracked northeast, then going near the Summit Shopping Center. We're told that because of all this damage and all the debris in the area, JCPS couldn't even take some of their students to uh, their homes. They had to go to a different school. And we'll talk to a student just a little bit later on Sunrise about what that meant for so many people here. But a lot of debris still scattered throughout here, knocked out power, as John mentioned, to hundreds, still a few pockets that LG and E is concentrating on um, an EF1 twister. Hard to believe that it happened yesterday, and yet I'm layered in about three different layers here to keep warm in this what 20 degree weather the day after. So obviously a January storm that really left its mark. Reporting live, Scott Adkins, Way Three Sunrise. All right, Scott, thank you. From there.